I was just gonna listen to the album and then sit down. Uh, nobody gave me instructions. I do want to let you know that I believe in a woman, a woman having a choice. And if any of you women would pick me tonight, I'm ready for you. So my mom made it to 101. Yeah. If you want to know the family secret, we don't die. No, we keep shrinking till we just disappear. I went to visit my mother in the nursing home. You know the problem when you go to a nursing home and you look like me? Yeah, they wouldn't let me out. The only reason I'm here tonight is I had to get a night pass from the front desk. You want humiliating? My mother had to sign it. I don't know how many of you know. Uh, I, let me start that again and use my mouth. I don't know how many of you may know what goes on in those places. Yeah, you got all these old ladies looking for a guy who can walk without falling over. <laughs> I found this out. I'm walking down the hall one day. An arm comes out of a doorway. <laughs> this woman grabs me. She pulls me into the room. The next thing I know, I'm crocheted to the bed. <laughs> So uh, I'm also a grandfather. Um, that happens when you get old sometimes. <laughs> so my grandson uh, turned 18, graduated high school. Now he thinks he knows everything and I know nothing at all. He's like, Grandpa, it's 2022. You don't know how anything works. I'm like, really? Do you know how to please a woman? And he said, no, but you have three ex-wives, so either do you. <laughs> that isn't my problem. My problem now is I don't know where to find women. I know I can't go to bars. That's where you people hang out. <laughs> and funerals are hit or miss. Am I supposed to hang out at the drugstore, the prescription department, <laughs> hit on those little old ladies? Hey, you want to come back to my place and slam down some prune juice with your heart medication? <laughs> so I'm banging this little old lady. The most amazing thing happened. You know, sparks flew? Well, that's when her hip replacement rubbed across the metal plate in my head. I've, I've discovered recently that my hearing sucks. I'm talking to this lady the other day. She happens to tell me that she has a peanut allergy. I misheard the word. I said, what happened? She said, I start choking and gagging. I said, well, maybe you need a smaller one. She said, size doesn't matter. And I'm like, oh, yes, it does. I said, what did your doctor say? She said, my doctor said I need to build up a tolerance. And naturally, I said, well, then I'm your man. 
Before I go, I just want to let you know I am now 82, and I have... <laughs> go get it? <laughs> Did you miss the I'm 82 part? <laughs> First, you're going to have to tell me where it is. <laughs> and then you're probably going to have to drive me there. But what I was going to say wasn't as funny. <laughs> so I've been diagnosed with leukemia. Uh, I know, but I'm, I'm 82. What the hell took it so long? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think leukemia is picking on the wrong little old man. Because not only am I going to beat it, I'm going to beat the crap out of it and make it my bitch. Thank you, I, I dropped the microphone and leave the stage, but I can't do all of that at the same time. <laughs> so I'm gonna start walking to the stage, to the stairs. Thank you, everybody. Stop that. <laughs> so I want to let you know next Sunday here, a week from this coming Sunday, August 28th, we're having an abortion show. <laughs> it's going to be all women performing. And the money is all going to an organization who have women on the ground in every state they need to be at. So anyway, if you want to come, it's a good thing to do. Bye.